Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with day number 13 for 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. And I am also following along with the Dottie About Flare prompts that are going with 30 Days of Sketches. And so here is our sketch for today. Um, in the sketch, there's a couple of large doilies, three, well, two pictures and a title, um, some journaling space, a bunch of florals. Uh, looks like it might be matted, can't tell. Um, and then today's prompt from Dottie about Flair is sequins. So for today, I decided to use this Bella Boulevard Make Your Mark. I have the kit and then two extra sheets of the 12 by 12 papers. And then I also have these two puffy stickers left from the collection. And I am determined to get those on this layout. So that's the goal. I got it all a Tuesday morning at different times. I was really lucky. And this is what's left of one of the sticker sheets, but I have almost two full ones um, to go with that. So that's pretty much what I'm going to use for my embellishments. Um, and then I'm going to pull one of those banners out because there is a little bit of a, um, a scallopy bit um, below the title. So um, I am not going to use doilies for multiple reasons. Um, my husband is asleep downstairs and the cricket sometimes it can be noisy with the vibrations. So I decided I'm going to make my circles out of these inks. And I have four different colors and I do pull one more in. Um, and I'm really excited about trying something new. I mean, I've done the um, package technique before. Um, so the colors that I use, that one right there is one of my new shimmer sprays called Fresh Lime. And then this um, shiny pink one is called Bubblegum um, Pink. And they are both Delusions shimmer sprays. And then I have Twisted Citron and Wild Honey in the Distress Oxides. And then I will bring in one more um, white linen in the shimmer spray in the end. And then I have this bin of stars and I plan on pulling my little embellishments cluster that's over on the left side of the layout. Um, that's where I plan on pulling those from. And then I have all these lovely little sequins and a dotty about flare, flare badge that I will pull on out. I just had not picked which one I wanted because I wasn't sure what colors I was going to pick from these papers. So I don't have two pictures. I have three, but I plan on using this picture here for my title. And it is just of the program that we were at where my daughter was awarding one of her favorite teachers with, um, it called a fame award. And she had to write an essay and everything about why he was, he deserved the award. And so hers was one of the ones selected. So it was a big deal, and he was very honored, but I don't have permission. I didn't think to ask about getting permission for them to be on the internet, so I covered them up. So I got all my goodies. Let's see how this goes. All right, so I went through the papers, and I was trying to decide between that pink polka dot and the blue, and I really want to use the back of that pink polka dot paper. It says something about um, being unforgettable or something along those lines. So I decided to use a blue, plus I want to bring some blue in. There is a little bit of blue in one of the pictures, um, the title picture. And so I wanted to go ahead and bring a little blue in because I thought everything else would be pretty pink. So I start off with my um, fresh lime in this shimmer spray. And I do the package technique. And I start by just kind of dabbing in little speckles. And then I'm going to dabble in speckles and then um, make it more smeared. So I'm going to go around the outside, almost the outside of the page. And I, like I said, I smush it down sometimes and I just um, kind of just kiss the page, I guess is what they call it, um, other times. And I just go around, and I'm not going to watch you make me do the whole thing. I just thought I'd show you the beginning process. So I make a circle with that green. And then after I finish that green, I go on to the Twisted Citron. And I'm going to add that um, more in the places that is that are um, 
just the speckled spots. So the two colors together blend really well to match the colors in this um, collection. And I thought it would give it a little extra shine and shimmer because of the shimmer sprays, which I love. So I go around and do that with this uh, Twisted Citron until the that green circle is pretty complete, in my opinion. And then I move on to the Bubblegum Pink, which is also uh, one of the shimmer sprays. And I'm going to take that to the outside. I debated back and forth between the pink on the inside or the pink on the outside. And I was worried that the inside was mostly going to get covered. And I really wanted that pop of pink, especially this shiny, shimmery pink. So I mostly just do the kiss routine around the entire layout. At some point, yep, I bring my little board in because I want to kind of come off the page in a couple places. And I don't want that on my mat. I mean, I can wipe it up real quick, but I'd rather not make the mess if I don't have to. So I don't mind getting messy. If you ever get a good glimpse of my fingers in this layout, I've got pink and green and yellow and all sorts of stuff all over my fingers. Um, so I just go around with that pink and just do that routine pretty much throughout the entire thing. There's a few places that are a little more splotchy um, than uh, speckled, but I'm okay with that. I didn't want it to look like I had painted the whole thing on. I wanted it to look speckled. So then I take this wild honey and dough the inside and I just smush that entire time because I knew if this was going to be seen at all it was going to be like a little bit here or a little poke out here which is exactly what happened because I knew my three pictures in the middle were going to pretty much cover that space. So there is a little yellow that sticks out here and there but not a lot and I'm okay with that. I have definitely had a hard time in the past covering my mixed media work because, you know, it's like you do all that hard work and it's so pretty. But I set that aside and I get my pictures out and then I'm going to trim them down and I don't want to trim them too much because the one on the table, there, you know, there's not a lot to trim off except some of the people in the background. So I start to mat these on this paper from the collection and decide I want it to stand out a little more so I get a couple of black matte stack papers that I probably got at Hobby Lobby and I just thin mat those maybe an eighth of an inch and then I mat that on that pink stripe that came from the Bell Boulevard collection and that gives me the pink that I want. I didn't want it to be too pinky um, just because the pink that is in the layout or in the uh, picture is almost like a hot pink so it was more um, that darker color that's on the outside and then there's that big red curtain behind them and so I didn't want too much of um, a bold dark pink. Uh, I didn't want it to take away from that lovely pink on the outside that's so lovely lovely shiny. So I get those down the way I want them and I put one piece of tape in the back of them so that I could lift, especially over here where I'm going to do the cluster of stars. And I decided to go with stars instead of florals or hearts because there's that star on the um, that title picture that had from the brochure or the bulletin or whatever that we had. So... <clears throat> I just layered the stars up and these, the blue polka dot ones and this white one right here are chipboard. So I didn't want to do anything more than what I did. I almost put a gemstone on top of that white star because I thought it would look cool, but I didn't want any more dimension because it's already, like I said, chipboard on top of chipboard. So I just clustered all of those up, start gluing down the corners so that they are down and I want to use glue because it's on mixed media. And my paper is bowing some, but I'm okay with that because it's going to get underneath a stack of mats while I do the 30 days of sketches. So I don't need to worry about it. It'll flatten out. So I'm trying to figure out where to put my dotty about flare. And I picked this one because it kind of looks like clouds and it does have that circular um, uh, design. So I get this one star and I tuck it underneath there. And so you can see the star peeking out from the top and the bottom of underneath the flare. And I like that. And I like that it's up there at the join of the pictures and the title. 
And then I pull out the Make um, Your Mark collection. Because like I said, I want to get these two uh, puffy stickers used. And I do. I put them where I want them. But they're not very tacky. So I'm going to glue them down. But I wanted to get them where they go. And that was my little happy dance that I was finishing off a sticker sheet. Which doesn't happen very often. Um, not that I don't use plenty of stickers. But I can't stop buying. Um, plus, I have a ton of them. And then I pull these Place and Time Metal Stars. And I think I got these at Joanne Fabrics. Um, it says Summer Paper Crafting. I'm not sure. Um, but they're really, really neat. And I thought that they had um, an indention. Like they had a dip in the back. But they have like epoxy or something on the back. so Or resin or something. So it's flat. So that made life easier. So I tucked um, four of those over into the cluster on the left. And then I add a couple of big ones in the two clusters that I've got going on in um, by the flare and by that gratitude heart that I put down. And we definitely have lots of gratitude for this. Um, he was actually one of the counselors at my daughter's middle school. And he was just, he really changed her life and in ways saved her life. Because middle school sucks, you guys. Didn't know if you know that. If you've never had a middle school child or remember your middle school days, it can really, really suck. So anyway, um, I got this thing that says happy and it's got a little gold arrow. And I really like it. And I wanted to bring the pink in just a little. And I tried to tuck it in a couple of places. It just didn't work for me. So I ended up putting it on the picture by my daughter and her teacher. And then I take this heart because it says believe. And I really wanted that on here because he really believed in her and it helped her believe in herself. And that's the other reason that I'm super glad that that gratitude sticker was still left because that's so very fitting and brings in the yellow, the green and the blue. And so then I have these other stickers that I've tucked in up at the top that says good times today and a little arrow. That's one of those label stickers. And then I also used some Park Lane gemstone stars that I clustered over there by in the big huge cluster as well as by the flare and by the big gratitude heart and stars. And now I'm just putting sequins kind of anywhere and I mostly actually completely use different shades of pink. Um, I have a ton in that second little compartment in the front of pink and they're all blended together. Uh, dark pink, hot pink, light pink. Yeah, so I just put a bunch of those on there and then I'm tapping my fingers because I'm trying to figure out what I want to do because I feel like something's missing at the bottom. So I, instead of putting that um, border at the top and bottom of the title space, I put it at the bottom of the title and now I'm just going to put it across here at the bottom of this picture, kind of giving it a shelf for those pictures to sit on. And I do like that. So, and then I just put that aside because I can use the rest of that on another lamp. So I am mostly done with the um, sequence. I think I am wrapping things up. I put the date with this white jelly roll pin on that bl uh, little branding strip or border um, down there underneath the picture. And then I think I have one more thing I decided to do. I feel like something's missing. I really wanted to use that little um, cut apart up there at the top right. It says something about shooting for the stars since I had the stars and everything. But there's just nowhere to put it. So I decided that I would just set that aside and put that on another lamp. So I just also I wanted to do a little splattering. And I considered doing black. But there's really not any black in this layout except for in the title. So I went ahead and got my white linen in the shimmer and tapped it out mostly where the clusters are and around that circle so you could see it. You really can't see a whole lot of it. It's up close. You can definitely see it, but it's not like bam in your face, which is exactly what I wanted. That hot pink is or bubblegum pink is definitely in your face. And that is OK because it brings your eye to the entire layout because it's on the outside circle. And I really love that. So I'm going to get cleaned up from the splatters. And then I'm going to show you this sketch. And, and then some cl up close pictures of the layout. I hope you all enjoyed this. And I hope you all will come back. Please go in the description box and follow 
um, the hop and watch all the other amazing people who are also creating these layouts. Some people are doing them every day. Some people are just doing a couple. Um, whatever draws your attention, whatever brings you joy. If you see a layout and it says, oh, I could totally scrapbook this on that layout. Do it. Um, you know, document your memories, document your family, do it for you, do it for your grandkids, do it for your kids, do it for whoever you want. It's just, you know, so special. And I am so grateful to have this, uh, craft and have found this group of people who just bring me so much joy. So I hope you all have a great day and I hope you get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love. Happy scrapping.